Hi guys, welcome to Scribble Lab. Today we are going to draw this awesome Triceratops. Now if you saw our last drawing tutorial, it was a rhinoceros and it looked a lot like this, didn't it? It has the same round nose, round head, it's got kind of a squarish body, it's got oval feet. The difference comes in with these horns and then he's got this round frill behind his head and a tail. So are you ready to learn how to draw him? Let's get him up in the corner here and out of our way. I'm using an iPad Pro and Adobe Draw to do these drawings. If you don't have one of those, no problem. Go ahead and use your pencil and paper at home and be sure to draw lightly with your pencil because we're going to be erasing a little bit today. So go ahead and get your pencil and let's start off with a lightly drawn oval. And above that oval, we're going to round off his head just like that. His eyes are going to overlap this shape a little bit. They're going to be big and oval. They might even overlap each other a little bit like that. His horns come up in a curved point like that on each side. Underneath that, you're going to connect it with just a curved line. The horn on his nose is going to start between his eyes, a little bit below his eyes, and it's going to be an upside down V and connect the open points of that V with a curved line. He'll have oval nostrils. His legs are going to come down from his chin in a slightly curved line like so. In the center of those two lines, you're going to make a chest line right there. And then below that, you're going to make two more curved lines like this. I'm going to zoom in so you can see how I draw his toes. Upside down U in the center of that foot connected with a curved line on the bottom. I do that three times on each side. If you want four toes, that's fine too. Then I just connect the legs to the toenails like that. There needs to be a belly line right above his toes there. As I pull out here, we're going to draw his back feet, which are big ovals placed next to his front feet. Like that. I like to erase the top of the toes so that I can get the toenails in there easier. They're just three big ovals, like so. One, two, three. His back legs need to connect to his body on the top and the bottom, like this and like this. Okay, I'm going to erase those little lines out of his eyes. Now, draw very lightly because this part is easy to mess up. I do it all the time. We're going to start on the left side here and draw a circle just barely above the horns, back around to the other side of his face. And this line is going to need to be erased quite a bit so that it's out of your way. It's just a guideline. Now you're going to draw V shapes, one at the top, do them every so often. Try to keep them evenly spaced. I'm going to make mine a little round this time, but you can make yours pokey. Now to connect those lines together, we are going to make this curved line like this. If you need to adjust it so it doesn't run into the horn, so go ahead and do that now before you put your final lines in. Otherwise, you'll have a mess. Okay. And when you have that in, you're going to just put tiny curved lines on each point to separate 
those little areas there. So if you got to this point, you are ready to erase all of your pencil lines until it's really light. We don't need to see much of them. We just need to have a guide for where to place our marker. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that, but I'm going to move on. I'm going to start with the horn. Upside down V with a curved line to connect it. Oval, fill in the oval nostrils. I'm going to start on the eyes. Nice smooth lines here. Inside the eyes, we are going to draw ovals that are placed more towards the center. Inside those ovals, there are small circles. Everything but those small circles get filled in. Those are our highlights. I'm going to complete the bottom of the face. I'm going to zoom out and draw the horns. Then I'm going to draw the rest of the face, but I'm not going to draw that line through the horns. Because the horns are not transparent, we can't see through them. All right, I'm going to start with his frill, or this shell that goes on the outside of his face. I'm going to start with just the outlines And then I'm going to draw these curved lines in here. If you don't stick to your plan completely, your original outline, that is totally okay. Sometimes it's nice to be able to make adjustments later. Hey, his toenails, I'm going to move quickly here, so if you need to pause, go ahead and do that. I'm going to finish his legs. back toenails. And his back leg lines. Getting a little messy there, so I had to redo it. Don't forget to put the leg lines in. Otherwise, he'll look like he's just floating, or his belly line. Oh, we forgot to put his tail in. Whoops. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just do that with marker because we're bold. But if you want to sketch it out with a pencil first, go ahead and do that. It's going to start a little bit above the back leg, and it's just going to be this kind of swishy line like this. If you are to this point, it means that you can go ahead and erase all of your pencil lines. If you have an iPad, all you have to do is delete this sketch layer. And this guy is ready to color. Whatever colors you want works just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and paint him kind of a green color. I lost his belly line somehow. I think I'm going to give him purple horns this time. Why not? He looks a little bit more like a dragon if you make him purple and green. but I think I'll make his toenails this yellowish color. If you have any suggestions for any different animals that you would like to learn how to draw, please tell me in the comments below. I would love to draw what you want to draw. I'm really having fun watching you guys come up with these creations and your work is beautiful. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, because we have some fun here. If you'd like to put some kind of background on him, that would be fun. 
There you go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We'll see you next time.